Dunedin has a reputation for having cold, damp rental housing, and those involved with two national medical student groups say enough is enough. Dunedin Medical Students for Global Awareness Coordinator Hermely Townsley says significant health problems result from poor quality housing, so they've put their foot down. We'll be writing letters to members of parliament in the coming weeks, uh, as well as uh, other aspects of our campaign. We'll have a Facebook campaign. Uh, our group is running an advocacy workshop for students tomorrow. She says medical students see many people getting sick due to damp, mouldy homes, so minimum standards for housing need to be put in place. I think there should be standards around insulation, um, also adequate ventilation, because um, it's really important uh, in somewhere damp like Dunedin. Others are supporting their campaign. The Dunedin City Council's Manager of Events and Community Development, Rebecca Williams, says the council supports the continuing investigation into a housing warrant of fitness scheme. Townsley wants to see legal minimum housing standards in place within the next parliamentary term, and she believes it could benefit the country financially as well. Instead of preventing illnesses after they have them and spending money on treating illnesses that really shouldn't have occurred, um, we'll be preventing them. So I think that actually it'll work out to be a cost-effective solution. The housing warrant of fitness was recently trialled in Dunedin and no houses passed. The medical students involved with the campaign hope they can spur things along so houses that make people sick will be kept off the market. David DeLorean, 39 Dunedin News.